Like, what, what else is there to say? Everybody knows what's going on. It needs to be stopped. People are dying. Black people are dying. How heavy. Everybody is dying, fam. How heavy. For nine minutes. I know it's been raining out here, but hey, we're all out here together, right? We're already wet. We're all here, wet. We're, all we're, all wet. Standing, we're standing for something, right? 100%. Yes. We're standing for together, and we're going to do this all together. Like, we were here united. And that was a brilliant idea. So we will do this for nine minutes. Lay down. Right. I have a, I have a lot of family that's African American. Man. And every time you see something on the news, you know, you just kind of put yourself in that place, you know, thinking that could be me, that could be my family, that could be my brother, man. And it just really hits home. You know, it's my first time attending something like this. And, you know, it's really powerful when you're out here with the people. The emotion, it's, it's a real raw emotion. People are, have been hurt, you know. And there's millions of instances that happen, you know, across the country. There's social injustice, racial, then, you know, and whatever we can do to kind of bring that to light, man, you know, we have to take our part, you know, we have to do what we got to do. I don't feel like that was the right thing to do. And I told he told me earlier that he was gonna be back out here in a sense doing this. And I just felt like in a sense, I mean I, I had to come out here and, and try to peacefully or, or try try to do it the, the, a better way than what they did last night. I mean I, I feel the issue. I mean it's it's real life to me. When I get pulled over in the car, I mean I don't know, can't nobody in this in this country right now tell me 100 percent that I'm gonna be safe leaving a traffic stop. And I've done nothing wrong. That's why I had to come out here. I needed to support the silence and I needed to make action happen. Uh, I was here last night protesting with everybody. Uh, being out here, I felt the emotions, the feelings, the scare through the police, you know. And I felt like, you know, it's, it's enough to be in silence. You gotta, you gotta take action, you know. There's no, there's no, there's no future without action. You just sit behind the you know, phone all day. It's not gonna make a difference, you know. You gotta come out here and let your voice be heard because that's, that's the only thing that matters right now. Everybody, and let y'all know that it ain't just Hispanics and black people affected by this. We care too, and we're here to stand by you. And we ain't gonna let nobody disrespect y'all without us saying something. At the end of the day, it's all love all around, whether you're Asian, black, brown, white. Purple, it don't gonna, it don't matter. It's all, it's all love. love. One love. We're all humans. God, he loves all of us. He wants us all to be fair. 
top things, I'm a father. So I have a nine-year-old little boy, right? It is my responsibility as a father to set an example. The example that I set, not what I tell him, if I can tell him what to do, but he's gonna do as I do, not as I say. You feel me? So, I'm out here speaking for the people that have dealt with oppression their entire lives. I'm a Latino man in San Antonio, Texas. I'm from Laredo, Texas. I experienced racism here in high school, right? I went to high school, low sex, and experienced racism. I've been oppressed slightly. I don't know what it's like to be African American, though, but I can be here to speak because I have a voice and a right to speak. And I'm gonna scream George Floyd until my voice goes out, man. It's my responsibility. And, it's, and, it, and, it, and, this, and the age of information, in the age of information, ignorance is a choice, and I will not be ignorant anymore. We have to educate ourselves, we have to get involved in our community, we have to be close to our police officers, because our police officers, they care about us, they want to take care of the community, they're here to protect us, and we work side by side with them tonight. You saw them, they were guiding us down the street in their bicycles, bro, I was showing love. We're here to show love. Violence is not the answer. Silent protesting is, and that's what we're here to do.